This week, a video that I've been meaning to make for a long time, but never seem to get round to it. If it saves just one of you from damaging your camera or lens, it was worth it. Welcome to the Photo Genius channel. Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Welcome to my channel where I share photography tutorials, camera tips, tricks, and more, all to help you get more from your digital camera so you can take better photos. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Now this week I wanna talk about camera straps, which I know isn't the most exciting of subjects, but please bear with me because I think it's really, really important. I've actually been meaning to make this video for some time, but never got around to it. But the reason I'm making it this week is because because last weekend I held a photography workshop here in Brisbane. One of the participants brought along a brand new shiny camera and the strap wasn't correctly connected to that camera. Now I noticed that, I fixed it for them and I'm glad I did because I'm pretty sure that during the course of the day at some point that camera may have got detached from the strap and the camera or the lens could have got damaged. So I think it's really important to make sure that you connect the strap to the camera correctly and there's actually two ways of doing this and I'm going to show you both. Later on in the video I also want to talk about a particular type of strap made by a company called Peak Design. Now I know what you're thinking this video is not sponsored in any way by them but the straps are really cool so I want to talk about it later because I think this will be of value to some of you guys. Okay so let's start off by talking about how to correctly connect the camera strap to the camera. For this demonstration I'm using a standard camera strap that came with the camera. Now the first thing I need to do is pass the end of the strap through the metal eyelet on the side of the camera. Then I pass it back through this piece of plastic which is actually called a strap keeper. This helps to keep the strap tight against the body of the camera. Now the next step is to pass the end of the strap through the buckle but it doesn't quite reach so I'm just going to pull through a bit more strap. Now this is the buckle and I need to pass the end of the strap through. Now this can be a bit fiddly, so I'm just loosening off the strap and creating a loop. Pass it through the bottom of the buckle, then simply loop it back and pass it through the top of the buckle. Then I just pull through any slack and make sure it's nice and tight. And that is it, job done. Now some people prefer a different method because they don't like this loose bit of strap flapping around and to do this is very easy. So I'm just going to pull the strap back through the buckle and then I'm going to reverse it. So I'm going to put it through the top of the buckle this time and then again loop and back through the bottom of the buckle. Now you can see the loose end of the strap is tucked away and it just looks a little bit tidier. Now, of course, you don't have to go with the branded strap that came with your camera. There's plenty of other options available. I would check out Lucky Straps, an Australian company who make really high quality leather camera straps. I'll put a link in the description below this video. More recently, I've been using camera straps by a company called Peak Design. Let me show you why. The Peak Design system allows me to attach and remove a strap easily. The anchors attach to the camera and the strap snaps easily and quickly into place. Now I purchased some additional anchors as I often switch between camera brands depending on what I'm doing. With smaller cameras I often use a wrist strap and sometimes I don't use a strap at all. I like having the option. If you wish to find out more I've included a link below. Now I'd just like to remind you that this video is not sponsored by Peak Design. I paid for this camera strap and all the accessories myself. But if you would like to find out more, I have put a link in the description below this video. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up because it does help the videos get noticed. That helps the channel grow. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos from me. That's about it other than to say thanks again for watching and I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya. Bye.